What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Prince Heim Sweet TV's latest video that they dropped on their channel. They're a Japanese YouTube family channel and they got hands on time with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee and uploaded a video to the channel. Now, what makes this video so unique is that they're not playing the E3 demo build. They're playing a little bit further into Vermilion City so we get to see See more of the city and see how it's going to be looking as far as someone actually playing the game and not from what we've seen in trailers. We do get to see Route 11 and Route 6 in this gameplay footage and we get to, you know a, a little bit of the atmosphere of what Pokemon is going to be appearing where. So without no further ado let's jump right into the footage. So just to let you guys know if you want to check out the video in full I will have the link to this video in the description below and I'm unsure if they went to an, you know Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu let's go Eevee event or if, if they went to the offices you know of the Pokemon company because you know they meet Pikachu backstage they get to see the box art they only show the front of the box art they never show the back of the box art which is kind of disappointing because I want to see the back of the box art so badly so it starts with them in Vermilion City they just walking around checking out Pikachu's idol animation I believe the little girl is playing the little daughter and she's getting her feel on the game you can see wild Pokemon and battles that we've known to see in this area and what's pretty interesting is that we get to see Jigglypuff and Growlithe run out of the grass right and the player obviously she wants to encounter Jigglypuff so she does and that Growlithe wow and he didn't get put into the catchphrase for where she can catch him he's still there waiting for her at the end which I think is pretty cool because this kind of confirms that when we do see a shiny Pokemon in the wild potentially if we bump into a another Pokemon our chances of missing that Pokemon is not going to be affected because we are going to be able to continue and pick up where we left off right outside of that capture phrase so as you can see Jigglypuff from left right here and then that out Growlithe is still right there attacking the trainer and jumps into a catchphrase where the trainer has an opportunity to catch his Growlithe I think this is pretty cool information because again if we do see a shiny Pokemon in the wild and you get you know stuck by a rat Tad or you know a Pidgey flies into you from the sky or whatever the case may be you didn't see the Pokemon and you had your eye on a shiny Pokemon you're gonna be able to jump at them after you got out of this initial battle. A next thing I want to point out that I think is pretty cool to see is we do see a evolution shown on screen as Pidgey evolving into Pidgeotto and it's not a huge you know oh my god mind-boggling thing obviously you know evolutions were gonna be in the game we We've known that they've been in every game since the beginning to see Pidgey evolve it's kind of cool to see it evolve in this game already we get a galaxy looking thing where it shows Pidgey you know turning to a ball of light and then evolve into Pidgeotto which I think is pretty cool but this the whole image of it how it looks it just looks so amazing comparative to what we got on the Nintendo 3DS versions of the Pokemon games and then it, you can see the Pokedex and then we jump into Pidgeotto just basically flying about in uh, getting her Pokedex entry, which I think is pretty cool. They also point out that they get to, you know, see Abra in the wild and catch it. The dad, I looked like, was pretty excited to see Abra, but, you know, the kids kind of, like, brushed it off a little bit because it's just an Abra, but <laughs> they end up catching it and then also end up going to through the city. They don't talk to no players, so that we don't get no chances to get some dialogue from these NPCs. They don't go inside any buildings. I think they didn't go inside any other buildings because they probably were told that they cannot. And if they did, they wouldn't be able to show it. Hence why we don't see any, any of that. Then they go into a catchphrase with a drowsy. Now drowsy's gen one, we knew he was gonna be in this game. So it's not like a huge surprise. Then they hand the controller off to daddy for a battle, which he's end up battling. I forget this guy's name. Let me know the trainer name in the comment section below if you know i think this is gambler i could be wrong oh old man gambler he just had the dice in his hand that's why i'm making that call that's pretty much it as far as new stuff that we see i just kind of wanted to do this 
video on that getting into a battle doesn't decrease the chances of seeing a shiny is that if you do see a shiny you are going to be able to see it in the wild after you got into another battle which is i think is pretty cool um just to finish wrapping up what they do in the um, video they go over a little bit of buddy pokemon customization with giving pikachu in a bug catcher outfit and you know saying stuff we all seen before we don't really see new outfits what we do see is that you can mix and match some of the stuff which is pretty cool and then you can see it on your trainer live and on pikachu and whatnot and then that's pretty much it as far as what we get to see that's new quote unquote from let's go pikachu and let's go eevee so i want to say shout outs to the channel that provided this video for us princess heim suit tv i think that's the name of the channel if you want to check out the video in full please click the link in the description give them a subscribe if you can understand them or whatever if uh, worst come to worst get at least like the video just to show your support i think the video of you know showcasing the game is pretty cool we get to see a little bit of stuff that we haven't seen before and especially confirming that if you get caught by a pokemon that you didn't want to catch you can still catch that pokemon that you were seeking out because they're still going to be in the wild at the same place that they you basically left them. So I, I, that's why I wanted to do this video, especially deep diving into other stuff as, as well as how the roots look and they both look amazing. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Like always guys, I'm Daddy Yama Fred on Instagram and Twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing channel's concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one